What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jim. We're back at it again. My knees can't do that. But uh, today, we're going to be making some artichoke dip. Super simple, and uh, it's a pretty good little kind of little dip. A little dip for your chips or uh, a little, I don't know, sauce for your tortillas. Whatever you're feeling, you know? All right, first up, don't mind the mess. It's cooking. It's a little dirty again, I know. But we're going to go ahead and set the oven to uh, a toasty 375. Let that thing preheat. And uh, yeah, on to the makings. Now you might be saying to yourself, Jim, what is in artichoke dip? Well, I'm sure you can guess at least one ingredient. And that would indeed be artichokes. We're going to use this uh, whole freaking can of marinated artichokes. Because uh, I don't like the measure and it's good to use it. And hey, the guest appearance star here. We'll also be using blue plate real mayonnaise that is pretty good right there um so that's the second kind of deal and then we got parmesan cheese you can kind of use a mix up of cheese and i'm going to throw in some garlic and onions for a little pizzazz so first up we're going to drain all the liquid from this because uh it's all kind of just marinated and oily and we don't want that so let me go do that real quick to bam and then we we'll just dump it out here there's a little bit of au jus left but that's how it goes sometimes and yeah, we're just gonna freaking slice and dice these up finely. You can leave them as chunky as you want. I like them kind of evenly distributed along my my uh, artichoke dip. So let's get to chopping. I'm saying that's pretty darn dandy. That's enough chopping for me. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it in a bowl. Hopefully not spill it all over the countertop. Now mayonnaise is one of the few things I will actually measure because uh, too much of it and it tastes kind of gross. So uh, we're gonna put in just a single cup of mayo. Nothing quite says America like a cup full of mayo. Very nice. Oh yeah. That's good. Now you could go with like a fancy Parmesan cheese and grade yourself, which I am going to do a little bit of, but uh, you, you can always use the good craft old Parmesan, you know, good old fake old cheese. So we're going to put, since we have the cup already out here, we're going to put like eh, about half of it full of uh, craft Parmesan and we'll finish it up with an actual grated delicacy. I'll show you in a sec. So yeah, we got like about a little less than a cup, but it's, it's, it's about a one to one to one. From what I've seen and from what I've had, it's pretty good. So uh, we're just going to grate some actual Parmesan and bam, it's almost, we're almost done. All right, we're going to blast it with some of this Romano wedge, wedge cheese, great stuff. We're going to grate ourselves and put a nice little help it in there. So yeah, check this out. Boom, look at that. That's like Mount cheese there. Whoa, we got plenty of cheese. And now we're just going to finish it up with some red onion and a garlic. Oh, yeah, check this out. So we're going to use about half a red onion. You know, nothing, not too much, not too little. And, uh, yeah, we'll chop it up nice and fine. So it's distributed lid, distributed nice and uh, smoothly. So, yeah, let's uh, I'll chop this up real quick. And we'll get uh, we'll get going on it. And bam, that's in the bowl. And last but not least, we're just gonna put a little bit of this Spice World minced garlic in there. You know, nothing too crazy. Uh, you can always cut your own garlic here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a nice little spoonful. Bam, that's garlicky. And throw it right in the bowl. And then yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and stir this up and you'll see what it looks like just in a second. Bam, look at that. That's, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't recommend eating that. That's gotta be like a mayonnaise flavored cheese blast. Um, don't eat it like this. We're going to go ahead and, uh, you can kind of use whatever baking dish you have. Uh, some people have the nice kind of ceramic bowls that look pretty cool, but I'm just going to go ahead and spoon it into this here bread loaf pan. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw it in the oven for about 15 minutes. So let me get this here in the pan. And here we go. Look at that. Add some nice artichoke dip in that pan there. Uh, the oven just finished preheating. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, 
Open this bad dog up. Throw her in there, tubes. We're gonna let it cook for eh, about 15 minutes, and then we'll check in on it. And uh, we might throw it in the broiler. So let's get that on there. Boom. And yeah, we'll catch up in about 15 minutes. Oh yeah, look at them bubbles. It's starting, it's working, it's cooking. Let's go! All right, let's check it out, tubes. Oh yeah, ooh, that's some steam. Look at that, that's nice. Now it's been cooking long enough. We're gonna go ahead and turn off bake, get some broil action on high. And we're just gonna kinda closely monitor here uh, make sure it doesn't burn, but we want that top nice and golden brown. So we're just gonna keep watching it, and I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Come on, turn brown. What do you think? Is it gold brown enough? I didn't think so either. It's got a couple more minutes left. What you looking at me for? I know. <laughs> All right, check this out. We're gonna do some zoom action. Ooh. Don't burn my hand. But now you can see that whole top is starting to bubble. So now it's only a matter of minutes. So you do really want to watch and be careful here so it doesn't burn the whole top out of it. Because that... I haven't tried it burnt, but I'm sure it wouldn't be good. Alright, we're good. Look at that. Look at that beautiful golden brown. That's exactly what we're looking for. That is basically done. Give it a good couple minutes to cool down if you want to try it right away because I burnt the roof off at the top of my mouth with this. Not a great time. But yeah, there's some artichoke dip. Uh, I'll give it a try here in a little bit once it cools down. And uh, yeah, give it a whirl and tell me if you like it. All right, YouTube, we're back. It's cooled down a bit. So we got our, ourselves a nice big old helping on this year chip. Uh, let's share, give it a try. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's some artichokey creamy goodness right there. Man. Mmm. Yeah. Only thing that could really make this better is if I had like grated Parmesan cheese, but as they say, it is what it is, tubes. But if you you made it this far and you enjoyed what you saw, leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. So yeah, this has been Cooking with Jim. Artichoke bowl. Peace out, homies.